during their home opener against the OKC Thunder, the Chicago Bulls come out and play like absolute trash, losing 114 to 95. And honestly, that score doesn't even signify how bad this game was was we're gonna talk about that as well as how zach levine looked this game there were some ups and some downs and all of the bulls that failed us in this game now this is going to be a rant video but i will be honest with you it's not going to be a rant because we lost there's just a lot of things that happened that we have to talk about that are just disappointing to see from your team we'll talk about all that and more but first you got to hear the intro Cannot be the MVP of the league. Time to play big time play. I want to go higher. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. What is up, Bulls Nation? Welcome back to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name is Quentin. I'm your host. And if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I drop more of these videos you also can find these videos as a podcast version on spotify or apple podcast just search let's talk bulls but with that let's get right into the anger the bulls lost this game not only did they lose this game they played terribly this looked like the old bulls team but before we start cussing people out and talking about some people in ways that their mamas probably don't like we're going to start by giving a little bit of a shout out to Alex Caruso coming back. That might have been the brightest spot of this game is seeing Caruso back in the United Center and the standing ovation, the cheers he got, which honestly was better than most of the cheers the Bulls got tonight. So, Alex, thank you for what you do. We love you. We miss you. Let's move on to the terrible, terrible Bulls, okay? So, the game started out. As usual, the Bulls look like they were kind of sticking close. They've been doing that lately, kind of staying close to their team, doing what they can. But they shot absolutely horrible. This was probably one of the worst shooting games I have seen. And not only did they shoot terrible, they continued to shoot terrible. This is one of those games where they weren't hitting and they just didn't care. They kept pulling up. So to put that in perspective, the Bulls shot 15 for 53 for 28% from the three-point line. 15 for 53. They were missing shots. And just not attacking. That's just how it went. They just wouldn't attack the rim. They didn't understand what they were doing. Now, mind you, OKC didn't shoot well as well. They, lost, they shot 20%. They shot 8 for 40. But the difference here is when they started to get into the second half, they attacked because they understood the shot wasn't working. The Bulls don't know how to do that. That's not even the biggest issue. Sometimes you have a bad shooting night, and I understand when you do. But the worst part of this game was watching our starters not be able to, one, put the basket or put the ball in the basket, and two, not being able to keep their mind mentally in the game. And that is what makes me angry. We all knew the Bulls coming into this season were going to lose games. We, honestly, we partially hope they lose games. But the issue with this team is we want them to lose while developing people. If you're going to lose, get blown out, and not develop, then what's the point? Now we're just watching you play like trash, and we're getting no benefit in the future. So let's talk about the Bulls starters, okay? One, Kobe White. I love you, Kobe, but you got to do better. Kobe right now is in one of these weird, streaky things that he went through last year. Three for 12 from the field, nine points. Four rebounds, three assists. 0 for 9 from the 3. Kobe White can't go 0 for 9 from the 3. This team isn't built for Kobe White to go 0 for 9. Kobe was trying to drive. He couldn't even really do that that well. But you got to understand if you're making bad shots, stop taking them. When Kobe was 0 for 7, he shouldn't be trying to pull up unless it's completely wide open. Stop trying to heat check yourself into jump shots. You can't do that, right? Not only was he missing shots, and this goes to Zach as well. We'll talk about Zach in a second. Kobe White was missing shots, and he did that same high school-ass shit where when he misses and things don't go his way, you can see he's physically just pissed off, and he stops focusing. 
right? The Bulls do this a lot. Him and Zach, they both do it. They play like they're fucking 12-year-olds. If you are making bad shots, we get it. You miss sometimes. Run and play defense. The biggest issue I have with the Bulls when they lose like this is not the loss. It's not Billy Donovan. It's not even the fact that they looked terrible. It is the fact that while looking terrible, they also look like they didn't give a shit about being on the floor. There was plays when Zach thought he was fouled, and honestly, he was, and he should be angry about it. But that's not an excuse to stay on the other end of the court while your team is playing defense so you can complain about it. There's timeouts. There's free throws. Shit, I would rather you as a player go foul somebody and complain, but to just stand there and not get back and just give up points maybe pisses me off. Kobe does it sometimes. Zach does it sometimes. I go on Vooch a lot, but at least when Vooch does it, it's towards his own teammates. He still plays defense, but you can see him pissed off at his team. He stops doing certain things on the offense and tries to do other things, but he doesn't just stand there and go, oh, well, I'm pissed off. I'm just not going to play now. You can't do that. You make too much damn money. I want you to think about whatever job you do right now. Imagine you went into work yesterday or tomorrow, and you just go, nah, I thought I was supposed to do this. It didn't happen, so I'm just not going to work for the next 20, 30 minutes. You can deal with it. I'll be back. They would fire your ass. You have to stay focused. Right? Zach Levine, 22 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists. He picked it up in the second half. But another thing we saw with Zach this game was him forcing shots. He's been doing so well. So well at playing in the flow of the offense. And you saw it in that second half when he got hot for a little bit. That's what he was doing. Catch and shoot. Fast break. They get you. Now you're open. You can take the shot. Now that you've made a couple, now you can continue to try to maybe take a couple more difficult shots. Raise that level a little bit. But you can't just disregard it whenever you want. You have to play that way all the time. That's what creates a habit. And the Bulls right now have a habit of reverting back to the old Bulls. Right? So Kobe White, terrible shotting, shooting. Absolutely trash. Zach Levine, terrible shooting the first half. He picked it up a little bit. But he doesn't get off the hook because of that goddamn attitude of not running down the court. And he did it multiple times. There was a play where he almost turned the ball over. It was rolling down the baseline. He didn't even go get it. He just looked at it and watched the other team take it. You can't do that especially as a player who, one, is maybe the star of this team, and two, makes the most money. That's not even the worst of the starters. Patrick Williams, three points, eight rebounds, two assists. We kind of got passive P again. He went back into his shell. No one knows what happens. He plays good one game. He disappears for six. The man just can't stay constantly consistent. He makes one mistake, and then he just shells up again. I don't understand. Play your game. You make shots. You miss shots. Keep it going. If Patrick could just have a mentality to just shoot like he did last game, it don't matter. Even if it's a bad shot, just shoot. I don't care no more. Just shoot and show that you will shoot. That's all you got to do. Now, Josh Giddy did okay. 14 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, 6 for 14 from the field, 2 for 6 from the three-point line. Honestly, at the start of the game, he was our better three-point shooter out of the whole team. Booch. 18 points, 13 rebounds, did Vooch things, 7 for 12. 2 for 2 is arguably the best player on the team tonight. Vooch, the one we complain about all the time, was the best player on the court. And that is with the worst matchup, right? He had Chet on him. There's times when Vooch has a great matchup and he doesn't play that well. So the fact that he is the star of this game for the Bulls in this loss is sad. Other than those people, you can't even talk about the bench because they didn't do anything. The Bulls had three players, three, who scored over 10 points. Giddy was one of them. So on a team with Zach Levine, Vooch, Kobe White, Patrick Williams, Ayo DeSumo, Lonzo Ball, Julian Phillips, Jalen Smith, somehow Giddy is one of your best scorers. That don't even make sense. He's not even here for that. He's here to pass the ball, and you're letting him outscore you right out the gate. Kobe White didn't have 10 points. He's supposed to be our 1A. He's supposed to be maybe taking over the team. 
this is one of those games where honestly, it's not about the loss, it's about the effort. And that's just sad to see. The Bulls did not focus. They played terrible defensively. They couldn't stop Chet because he's just bigger than everybody. They didn't box him out. The amount of plays where the Bulls messed up their defensive assignments, Vooch had to leave the paint, and now whoever he's guarding just shoots and Chet's wide open for a rebound because there's no one to rebound because no one's tall enough. Right? And there's a lot of people who are going to complain about the fouls, the refs, right? They didn't call things. They did call some fouls that shouldn't have happened. None of that's an excuse. Those things, maybe in a game that's two to five point difference, I can see. In a game when the Bulls get blown out 114 to 95, and honestly, I'm surprised they got the 95, those are games you can't say anything about the refs. They didn't cause that. The Bulls did. Billy not making adjustments did. The Bulls not knowing how to play zone defense, and I don't know what the hell is up with Io, but this is the second time or third time I've seen him in a zone mess up the top of the zone and cause everyone to fuck up. These are the issues that you have to face. If you don't, you continue to suck. And not only do you continue to suck, but your players don't progress. And don't get me started on Modest Buzel is not getting enough damn Minutes. You were getting blown out by 20 most of this game. I'm going to make a video, most likely tomorrow or the day after, on is Modest the next Lowry? Is the, is the Chicago Bulls, is Billy Donovan going to start to do the same thing they did to him? We see you were handling the ball. We know you can kind of shoot. We're just going to make you a three-point shooter because we don't know how, what else to do. That is what they're looking like they're going to do, and that's what's going to ruin his confidence. So we're going to make a video about that. This was just one of those games where, honestly, I don't know who to be angrier at. Billy for not making adjustments. Zach for acting like he's fucking 12 and not knowing how to be an adult and play basketball when he makes millions of dollars to do so. Kobe White taking fucking pull-up shots when no one understands why because you're 0 for 8 and to somebody in your face and you just feel like maybe this will get me started instead of getting to the rim because, hey, they don't call a foul every now and then. The one good play I saw from those two was Zach complaining about his foul, going down, getting the rebound, and going immediately into the attack and driving again straight into the chest of Chet. That's how you deal with those situations. You get fouled. They don't call it. You act pissed off while you're playing defense. You get the ball and you do the same damn thing again. You know who gets a lot of calls? Giannis. You know why? Because when they call him for a charge, he says, no, it's not. And then he goes and gets the ball and charges again. And then he charges again. He's like, hey, you either going to call me and foul me out out of charges or you're going to stop calling them. I guarantee you if Zach starts doing that, He's going to get one or two extra charges a game, but I guarantee you the refs go, well, he is Zach Levine. We can't have him out of the game. Let's not call a couple of these. That's how you make the ideal situation with the refs. Let them know you're going to keep driving, you're going to keep attacking. If they don't call a foul, they're going to look bad. Right? If Zach drives 10 times and he gets one foul and it's clearly been fouled five times, people are going to say something. But when you drive, you get fouled, you don't drive for six more plays, you start shooting threes, then yeah, they're not going to call it. This was just one of those games where, honestly, I know Hayes said it during his halftime in Chicago Bulls Central. This is one of the games, if you're not a podcaster, if you're not somebody who's doing this and has to watch the game to make content for the great fans that do suffer through this shit, you're probably turning that game off. You're probably going to sleep. Right? I got Shy Town Sports Central tomorrow. It's going to be an early ass video we got to shoot. Guess what? I could have got an extra two hours of sleep tonight. But instead, I had to watch the Bulls look like shit. It is such a shame that the best part of tonight was cheering for Alex Caruso, who's not on our team. I know you guys have some comments. If you do, and you got a feeling of how you felt, comment it down below. This was the first rant of the year we're sure to have more and they're sure to get worse and worse as the bulls continue to do this type of shit hopefully they understand that they have to at least play and give us something to cheer for if they do lose i hope you guys have a good night we will see you next game like i said comment let me know how you guys are feeling don't forget to like subscribe and once again check me out on spotify 
and Apple Podcasts. You got the vocal version only. Go in there. Give it a five stars. If you are traveling, you got that as you. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you for watching. 